Transporting dangerous goods poses several hazards to workers, the general public, and the environment. As someone involved in the transportation of dangerous goods, it is your responsibility to prevent injury, property damage, and environmental harm by being adequately trained and operating in a safe and responsible manner. To help accomplish this, the Canadian TDG Act and regulations have been created. Proper adherence to this Act and its associated regulations ensures the safety of drivers, the public, and the environment. This course has been designed to educate you on the TDG Act and regulations in order to help you transport dangerous goods safely and properly. By the end of this course, you should be able to identify and describe dangerous goods, the TDG Act, the people to whom the Act applies, and their respective roles and responsibilities. Understand the different pieces of information that make up a dangerous good classification. List and describe the different classes and subclasses of dangerous goods. Distinguish between dangerous good labels and placards and understand when each one should be used. List and describe all documentation required when shipping, receiving, and transporting dangerous goods, as well as where this documentation should be stored during transport. Identify and describe basic handling procedures and precautions. Identify and describe what constitutes a dangerous goods incident, as well as the steps required to report one. Define Emergency Response Assistance Plans, or ERAPs, and describe when they are required. List and describe various exemptions under the TDG Act. And understand the general rules that apply to transporting dangerous goods between Canada and the United States. Information in this course will be presented in eight chapters. Chapter 1. TDG Basics. Chapter 2. Classification and Identification of Dangerous Goods. Chapter 3. Classes of Dangerous Goods. Chapter 4. Packaging, Marking, Labeling, and Placarding Dangerous Goods. Chapter 5. Documentation and Handling Procedures. Chapter 6. Reporting Incidents. Chapter 7. Exceptions and Exemptions. And Chapter 8. International Transportation. Please note that the transportation of dangerous goods is subject to extensive and changing government regulations. These regulations have been interpreted here based on our understanding of them, which means that not all interpretations provided herein may be completely accurate or applicable in every situation. When legal interpretations regarding these regulations are required, always consult the official TDG Act and regulations. Note as well that additional information on the TDG regulations, your responsibilities, and what to do in an emergency can be found in the TDG Clear Language Guidebook. This guidebook makes for an excellent additional resource and can be accessed through a link available in your print materials. Now, let's begin.